Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Friday, that means we're using Insomnia. And uh, this video cannot be that long. I am very busy today. Very, very busy today. Like, pretty much my mom is kidnapping me and she wants to go everywhere. Like, uh, she wants to get go get her hair done, then she wants to do my hair, then I need a haircut, then we need to go clothes shopping. College is, well, school, I'm about to say school, but yeah, college is about to start, so. Yeah, I need to get done with everything by the time mom comes back and she's like, you don't know, no, you're not going to be recording this, so it's, you, you have to spend time with me, blah, 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 So, yeah, so hopefully this video won't be too long. Anyway, using Supervise and I decided to go ahead and uh, change the deck up a little bit. So, still worry about the consistency of the deck, still trying to determine what I want to use to help the consistency of the deck. So, as you saw, you saw a new card, Reckless. Uh, the the MSTs and the night beams are so much of that's not completely necessary, so I decided to tone it down a bit. Uh, so um, now uh, I'm gonna try Reckless, who of course can not only stack with each other, but in dire straits can put me two turns ahead. And you know, being two turns ahead in this deck and not being able to draw later is perfectly fine. You're in defense. Thank you. And I'm not drawing anything. Uh, uh, you know, an Armageddon Knight would be nice. Uh, uh, you know, that would be really nice. <laughs> and I just, I'm just having a hard time getting this deck's consistency right. If push comes to shove, I'm definitely going to have to activate this Reckless Greed. I'm definitely going to have to activate it. And while it's not the most opportune time to play it, maybe those two turns ahead into the future might be exactly what I need to start doing some plays. Because right now, it is not looking good. It's definitely not looking good. It's the only thing I'm worried about this deck is the consistency, but there's not much I can help. You know, I'm already running the max, I'm again the stock reference, and I'm running max Tinker. Still trying that out. It worked last time, so I want to go ahead and try that out as well. <sighs> Mystic Tomato is too obvious and not necessarily the best card in the world. So, definitely just worried about the consistency of this deck. So, I'm definitely going to have to activate uh, Reckless Greed now if I don't draw into anything. <sighs> yep, I'm going to have to play it. I'm going to have to play it two cards later. <sighs> it's just enough. It's just enough to allow me to live. So thank you, Reckless Greed. Turn off the auto draw, of course. So I'm gonna summon Dark Reffer. Effect, I didn't draw and draw in the terror, but thank God I didn't take Dark Reffer in the dark. Whew. God, that's Lucy's duel not being able to do anything. It sounds just like this deck too. So you already know we're dropping Yuvel. Like that's a given. We can stall out with tear. Now I have no shame in my game with stalling out with tear. Yeah, that's in defense. But doesn't matter which one I kill, really. If I kill you, I'll get killed by you. If I kill you, I'll get killed by you, so... Doesn't matter. I'll kill your B. So, of course, I'm gonna set these two. I might actually have to activate that limit reverse just to survive some battles. Depending on what he summons. So that's gonna turn to attack. I'm gonna attack him and gonna take 300, so I'll have 21 left. He has no extra deck, so I don't have to worry about being in cowboy territory since he doesn't play a cowboy. And right now, it looks like I might have to just stall out until I get a uh, Doom Shaman in the grave, and then of course I'm running three Tinkers, so hopefully I can draw into them. And even if I don't, even if I draw into multiples, I can always just set them in there. I can see the top card, which will definitely help. And talking about stalling out, I can't right now because I can't even draw. But you know what? If I wouldn't have done that, if I wouldn't have done the the reckless, I would have I would have lost. The only problem with me and reckless is that I never draw multiple reckless. Never. I always get one. I never get like, oh yeah, multiple reckless stack. You know. So that's my only problem with that situation. Take the 300. Um, yes, I'm definitely going to activate the limit reverse. That's a given. 
I can stall out with Terra for a little while. And hopefully get set up. Even though I can't draw for the next two damn turns, like... <sighs> this is not good. This is not good. So I gotta... Gotta stall, yet I can't stall. Like, oh God, I don't know what to fucking do about this deck. I want to increase its consistency of sending. That's what I want. I want, I want more monsters. But I can't think of anything. Tomato would be the best choice, but I'm just not sure. You know. If you guys have any suggestions for this deck, please be sure to go ahead and comment them because I want to get this deck to work. I want to make this deck remake it in real life and make sure that it's nice and good and consistent and strong, but <sighs> I just don't know what to do with it. That's why I'm just sure about battle, right? Yeah. And of course, drawing on here is not how I'm drawing in real life, but still. I just need a higher monster count. I need something that can help me send. You know, if uh, Noden was legal, then oh, definitely, you know. Definitely, Noden would definitely help with this deck's consistency. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so that was turn two. So, oh, clearly, this isn't the correct route. Damn. Oh, I thought maybe Reckless would help, but nope. Nope, not Reckless. Uh, back row hate is fine. Back row hate amount is fine. What does this do? Which one you can banish one of those in your hand and talk about it. Once return, you can banish one flare shares on one from your hand and target one. So once your phone control destroy that target, then banish his card and in your next turn. I mean, if you want to use your effect, then go ahead and pop me, I guess. So I'll finally get to draw again. So I'm not even close to being set up, not even remotely. Another swing. Well, I, when I. Oh shit. Well, when I can go off, I can go off. I just need to get set up. That's my only problem right now, is that I am not set up. Once I get... Once I get set up, I can go off. Once I get Tinker and Doom Shaman, I can, pretty, I can probably end this duel. Yeah, I could probably end this duel. But I need to get those two. I just need a little bit more consistency. Just a little bit more sending. I got the revival. I got the back row. Hey... I got the monster, I just need a, just one more, just one more monster that can help me with my consistency. <sighs> no. Rota, can you go Rota to three, please? Summoner Monk to three, please? No. No. Maybe Rota, but not Summoner Monk. It's just consistency, consistency, consistency. Like I said, I can run Tomato, but Tomato is just too damn obvious. Another Call of the Haunted. That uh, doesn't help at all. Like, not even remotely does it help. Is there any point in me even setting it? I guess. God damn it. Like, where are my monsters? Where are Armageddon Knight? Where is Other Dark Graphics? Where is Summer Monk? Where is anybody? Where are my Tinkers? Where is anything? Where? It's probably the most boring duel ever because I can't think of shit. One, two. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, many cards in. And either this card, a card, or set. Something. Oh, yeah, I opened up with everything like Summoner Monk. If I get Summoner Monk, I would just be 
so happy. Like, all, I want Summon Monk. Okay. Summon Monk. <gasps> My prayers have been answered. <laughs> Thank you. Now I can actually go off. actually do plays thank you back drop you overlay XC into course level chain into you you get your effect go ahead and detach and drop you uh they call the haunted. Bring it back. You, your effect again, because I'm pretty much gonna do the same exact thing right now. Because no, once per turn, but it's not. You can only use the effect of summon monk once per turn. So and then you, you get your effect. Fuck drawing you, because I know I'm gonna draw you. So fuck you. Go ahead and go into Dagusto Emerald. Emerald will get his effect. Detach you, summon you. I'll use my normal summon this turn for summon a monk, so. How much damage is that? Still not enough. What does Scrap Dragon say? Oh, I can always negate him with Star. I can always block with Stardust, though. So, activate you, your effect, summon back you, sink, eat. Scrap just say target a card on the field. So you can tell me one card you can work. No, opponent controls. Okay. And I'll go for Stardust. Uh, Supervise. Chain Tanker. I say, when this deck can go off, it can go off, but it just takes so much fucking setup and I just get shitty hands and it's just bad. Like, you back. I don't believe that's enough for game, but it'll be a nice chunk of damage, of course. Attack with you. Attack with you. Is that game? Is that game? Ah, I think that's actually a game. It's not a TK because I already did 100 damage, but wow. See? That's all I needed. Once, one damn summer, one summer month turned into BAM! That would have been an OTK, wouldn't it? Because 18 plus 18 is what, 36, 36, yeah, that would have been an OTK. That would have been an OTK if all I needed was a fucking monster. That's what I'm saying. I need to increase the consistency of the sending. If I can increase the consistency of the sending, then I can just go off quicker and earlier. That's all I need. So please, if anybody has any suggestions on how to get this deck to help me send faster, you know, send faster, then please do not hesitate to say something. Please don't. I have an idea, but I'm just not sure if I can pull it off. And what I was thinking about is maybe throwing some Shadals in here. Like, you know, like, oh, my opponent special summoned something from their extra deck, you know, has something from the extra deck on the field. Shadal Fusion. Send a Shadal and whatever. You know, whatever. We need to be you bell, doom shaman, or tinker to the graveyard, which helps me send, and I would get a midrash or a window. So maybe that, maybe I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can run. I can run like what two, three hedgehogs, and uh, well, three hedgehogs and three uh, and three shadow fusions. The shadow engine in here, maybe, maybe. <sighs> I just don't know. I don't know. So go ahead and. Uh, state any suggestions if you have them so uh i'm gonna have to call it short like i said i'm super busy so i apologize for this video being short but please please help me just any <clears throat> any suggestions any suggestions let's debate on this because we're so close to getting this deck right so i hope that uh at least it was entertaining when i finally got to go off so thanks for watching thanks for all the support and i will see you guys tomorrow using you bone